the man trying to broker peace in yemen that says that he hopes a new round of talks between the warring sides will begin within weeks martin griffiths the united nations special envoy for yemen told sky news that he has overcome a hurdle that doomed a previous attempt to bring the different factions together tens of thousands of people have died in the conflict in the last three years and millions have fled their homes I think we have a good chance, all things being equal, to restart consultations, ideally in Sweden, you know, in a few weeks. And that's the kind of hope message that I think the people of Yemen have long wanted to, to receive. Caution, because, as I've said to the council before, in fact, that the, it's war which takes peace off the table. So if we find that there are particular battles or there's an increase in military activity, for example, in Hodeida, uh, between now and the time we want to be in Sweden, then we may not get there. So it's, please, can everybody hold their breath and help us get this conflict into a discussion rather than into violence? And what would be the consequences if your push fails? I think the consequences would be uh, quite appalling. First of all, the famine that we've been talking about and the threat to lives and livelihoods of many millions of, of Yemenis. Secondly, chaos in that crucial uh, part of the world where you have the shipping lanes, you have uh, the, the prosperity now beginning to happen across in uh, the Horn of Africa. Thirdly, uh, the threat of terrorism, which is linked to both of those first two. Yemen is still, in my view, on the right side of the line in terms of whether it can be resolved. But it won't stay there. So if we don't, do, we don't address this quickly, we'll lose it.